Hello string players. I'm Staff Sergeant Robert Martin from the United States Army Band Pershing Zone. Welcome to this lesson on spiccato. Let's get right into it. So to get you started, let's have you do along with me just a little exercise with the bow where we're doing this little teeter-totter movement using the pinky and a little bit of the third finger just to push down on the end of the bow and lift the tip, okay? Little teeter-totter motion here. Now let's use that to practice a bouncing stroke, which is what spiccato is. These are bouncing strokes. Uh, without creating too much sound right now, we'll take a rhythm, very simple rhythm, bum, 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 and just bounce straight up and down on the string, about two thirds to three quarters of the way up and up the bow, and controlling the bounce of the bow, the speed of the bounce of the bow with the pinky, like we were just doing. You can pause the video and do some of that on your own. Now, let's talk about um, adding some horizontal motion to that, okay? Which would be your... So we're gonna combine the bounce with the horizontal motion of the bow. Let's move a little bit more toward the middle, maybe even a little bit below the middle for this. Again, controlling the bounce on those slow notes. These ones here, bum, bum. Controlling the bounce with the pinky. Try a little bit more of that on your own. Now, let's talk about the height of the bounce versus the length of the stroke, these two elements that we have, that we've already practiced. So spiccato can either be very vertical, almost like a, a steep V shape, or it can be a curved U shape. And that curved U shape can be as long and as shallow as we want it to be, or it can be a little bit shorter and deeper, depending on the sound that we want. So now let's do an exercise where we kind of play around with, with that idea. So let's start with a very vertical spiccato, maybe a little bit um, higher in the bow. And then I can gradually start making that spiccato more vertical, or more, more horizontal, rather. So that more of my bow hair is contacting the string each time, a little bit longer length of hair. So I'll do the whole thing here from very vertical to very horizontal and back. Okay, so you can play around with those different combinations to create different sounds. Now let's do one more exercise using a scale. We'll take an A major scale where we're going to play triplets with the bow. So we'll be alternating down bows and up bows in terms of when our left hand changes. We can warm that up with open strings first. And what we wanna be doing here is hitting the same contact point every single time. For those of you who don't know what the contact point is, the contact point is the distance from the bridge where the bow contacts the string, okay? Can be closer to the bridge, can be further from the bridge. If you haven't mastered playing with a straight bow yet, you may have some work to do before you start trying to do spiccato in this way because we want to hit the same spot on the string every time. We don't want to be bouncing 
all over the place here, or it's not going to sound like much of anything. So let's take our A major scale in triplets, watching our bow and trying to hit the same spot every single time. And we'll, we'll do it in the lower half of the bow for this slower spiccato. about one more thing before we go which is something else that you can play around with in general faster spiccatos are going to be more toward the middle of the bow and slower spiccatos are going to be more toward the frog okay so be aware of that when you're practicing different types of spiccatos if a spiccato sounds too picky at a slow speed then you need to move uh, your bow placement more toward the frog so you can have a bit of a longer brush going back to that idea of how how shallow or how deep a U shape do we want to create a, a different sound so I hope that's helpful thanks for watching and happy practicing everybody <laughs>